The Rooker Prize 2023, sponsored by The Rock on Tours and Hachette UK. You and Gary, Gary Kemper, is, um, as part of the Rock on Tours podcast, why are you sponsoring the Rooker Prize for Lewis Football Club? Well, because we do a podcast which is all about stories, isn't it? I mean, the, our tagline is the real stories behind the music, and everything is about stories. Songs are stories. Everything is stories, you know. The s- stories are what make the world go round. It's, you know, they're what we tell ourselves, what we tell each other. And, um, you know, I'm an avid reader. Gary's a very avid reader. And so anything that encourages... You know, a, a football match is a story, isn't it? I, I mean, we love the idea of doing anything with Lewis FC because we love their whole ethos, the equality and everything, and the fact that I've moved to the area now so I will be an avid supporter and this just seems like a really really good fit. So what are the rock and tours up to? Uh, well we're, we're busy rock on touring away <laughs> as we do we got um, we just had a week off but we're doing two episodes next week we got more I mean we just keep it rolling as much as we can we don't really do seasons we just go until we can't until we're either too busy or people don't want to talk to us. We've got all sorts of big plans for it to go beyond podcasting hopefully later in the year. Anybody you particularly want to mention that has been outstanding? Uh, the thing is, there's so many now. There's, I mean, the, the thing is, you get you know, you get to talk to your heroes. We had Ian Hunter last week, and it was just amazing to get to talk to him. And uh, but it, what I like is, it tends to be the people who aren't necessarily the big stars. It's the people who are sort of in the room where it happened. And I think a lot of our listeners get that. That's the thing I do like is that we have a thing of it's become about the podcast where people listen to the podcast rather than just see who the guest is. And so, you know, people get to learn a lot that way. And you write, you've written a book. I have written a book. I wrote a book a very long time ago. Uh, it's called My Base and Other Animals, which I'm hoping, I don't know, because of something else I'm doing this year, that I'm hoping to update and add a few extra chapters to. And apparently you're working on a script for a film? I am working on a script for a film, yeah. I mean, I, anything to do with film, just to say nothing until it's done because you know but yes do you, ever, do you ever find it hard to start when you're writing a book or a film how is it difficult to start start i think s- s- the, the two hardest bits about any sort of writing are starting and carrying on i mean the funny thing is that, you know that's the thing is that initial ideas are easy that's why I, I, I admire anyone who can write a novel because I just don't think I, I, this is that, you have to be really clever, don't you? All those little twists and turns and narrative arcs and stuff. There's all sorts of stuff that has to happen in a book that you, the reader, don't know about. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. So I admire anyone who can write. So with writing and podcasting, do you have any time left to play bass? Uh, yeah, I seem to. Um, yeah, I have, I've actually been quite busy as a bass player. And of course, Gary and I are in a band together with Nick Mason, Nick Mason Source from The Secret. So we're going to be doing some shows this summer. I mean, we were doing, we did an insane amount of touring last year. We did, in Europe, we did 60 shows in 90 days in 29 countries and managed to keep the podcast going all the way through. So I'm very impressed with that. What do you like best out of all those things that you do? Writing, acting, casting, what what's your favourite? Um, I like all of them as long as I'm getting to keep doing different things. That's the thing, you know. I mean, when I'm when I'm playing bass with a band, there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. When I'm having doing a great interview with someone brilliant, there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. When I'm doing my stand-up show, there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. You know, it's that's how it is. It's whatever's in front of you. In the moment. In the moment. Yeah. 